So next thing I'm going to show you um, is how to deploy uh, Uniswap to the Akala blockchain. Uh, I would like to use the Uniswap repo directly, but unfortunately the Uniswap uh, repo is using the very old version of Ethos. So uh, there needs a, a lot of work to migrate it to the uh, newer version to be compatible with both DJs. So I was just um, taking the artifacts uh, from the Uniswap repo. So those are the JSON uh, file. Um, so actually, let me just run it. So this will deploy um, the Uniswap contract to our testnet. So so this is the all the setup required. Um, so in the deploy um, smart con uh, deploy JS, you can see the code. It's just a pretty standard ESAS JS. There's nothing special uh, to Akala. It's just a normal Ethereum project. So you can see um, in here I'm creating a, uh, the ERC token contracts for the Akala and the DOP token. This is the country address. So this is a system contract. So we can pick the country address. So you can see this is a bunch of zeros to uh, keep things simple. And we deploy the Uniswap factory contracts. Uh, we deploy the Uniswap router contracts. Um, just put in the contract address. Approve um, so we can uh, uh, do some transfer. Add some liquidity. Uh, just put in a bunch more information out. So this is basically the script to deploy Uniswap on our testnet. So you can see um, it deploys uh, the router to the address. So I'm going to change the address here. I run this script. So this script will basically uh, text the Uniswap router, uh, again, do some proof, uh, check some balance, and do a Uniswap trade. So in this, in this case, you try to sell some of DOT to buy some SAA token. Um, so it will try to um, sell exact one dot to buy how, how much uh, to buy the, um, some amount of SA, and this will print the balance uh, to verify if the trade is success. So it's running on testnet, so you can see um, the before um, balance, the trade after balance. So the dot amount reduced by one, the SA amount increased by um, roughly one. You can check the liquidity pool um, in the trading pair. You can see um, this one um, they charge some uh, amount of uh, uh, liquidity fee as well. So this is basically um, how you can like, write a script to trade uh, Uniswap um, with a script. So obviously you can easily connect this to your existing UI to get things working. Um, in the setup JS, we don't do too much thing special, special things. So what we do is basically um, create a provider. So this case, in this case, this is uh, Ether's uh, provider. So it's offered, uh, the, implemented by the body, uh, implementing the provider interface, abstract provider interface of Ether's. So it's an abstract provider. So it works with Ether's um, JS. And this takes a WebSocket provider, which is basically in a node URL. Uh, wait for it to be ready. Uh, create the uh, create the signing key pair. So it will be using the one coming from the environment variable, which I'll be defined myself. Or it just takes the test uh, key pair if you're uh, running this on your local test net. And create a signing key. Uh, create a signer. Uh, this is the again. Uh, abstract signers from the ethers JS. And that's pretty much it. So now you with this wallet, then you can just uh, use it as a normal um, ethers uh, wallet. And should, this should just work with your existing uh, deployment scrap or any other uh, scrap that using ethers JS. So this is basically um, how you can uh, deploy the Uniswap contracts into our testnet. And, or, or if you want, you can also deploy this to your local network. So uh, you just, if you don't set up any